Greetings and praise the Lord. This is Bishop Dr. Grace Kariuki of Amazing Grace International Ministries and Abundant Glory International Ministries. I welcome you to our devotion. And uh, our daily devotion is on knowing Jesus. We are on episode two, which is the victorious one. In uh, Re- Revelation chapter 3, verse 21, I'm reading from the NIV version. It says, To the one who is victorious, I will give the right to sit with me on my throne, just as I was victorious and sat down with my father on his throne. And uh, how are you going to be victorious? Um, because the Lord wants us to be victorious like he is. And that is why he, in living a victorious life, we need first to give our lives to him, have him in our lives, and then we have ourselves in him so that when everything we do, let him do it on our behalf. And because he's the one who knows what victory is all about and how to go about it, the journey of victory, Christ knows it in and out. And therefore, when we allow him to help us and guide us, we are also going to be victorious and we are going to overcome. We are going to be more than conquerors because that is what Christ is. And in Revelation 2.26, to the one who is victorious and does my will to the end, I will give authority over the nations. Why is he going to give you authority over the nations? It's because he himself has been victorious. He has conquered the nations. He has conquered everything. And therefore, he is also asking you to walk in a victorious life by you not compromising, not living a double standard, but walking in a way that will glorify him. And he's telling us that it is the one who does his will to the end. Not do his will now because others are doing it, but we are going to do it until the end. And in Revelation 5, 5, the one of the elders said to me, do not weep. See, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David has triumphed. He is able to open the scroll and its seven seals. So if there is any seal, if there is anything, any blessing of yours that has been sealed somewhere and you are not able to open the seal and receive that which belongs to you, if your destiny has been locked and sealed in somewhere, I want to let you know that Christ, who is more than a conqueror, who has triumphed, who is the root of David and is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Let me tell you, stop weeping anymore because he's going to do it. He's going to make you an overcomer. He is going to give you a breakthrough and he is going to open every score crawl. The ones that you have tried, the ones with your enemy things that he has already locked all your blessings in and you'll not be able to get them. You that he has already declared that you never even have a child. You that he has declared that you never even overcome that sickness and disease. I am here to let you know that Christ Almighty, you that is crying because of your children, I am here to tell you the Lord is telling you, weep no more, for I am the, 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 the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David has already triumphed. He is all able to open that seal and you will see what God has in store for you as you see your children not only just being turned around but becoming powerful men and women of God, becoming leaders that are going to shake the whole world for the Lord is there to open the seal, every seal that the enemy had thinks that he has won. He doesn't have the key. Jesus has the key to open every seal. In Revelation 6, 2, I looked and there before me was a white horse. Its rider held a bow and he was given a crown and he rode out as a conqueror bent on conquest. So uh, can you imagine now that he is, he's already been given the crown. He has already won. You give crowns to people who are victorious and Christ already has the crown and is not, he's riding 
on a horse and you know when we talk about horses riding on horses we are talking about victory we are talking about winning in battles and christ is winning every battle for you because he's already conquered we are told he's he, he's riding out as a conqueror bent on conquest he's on quakers right now and he is getting rid of every war that the enemy is waging against you so i'm telling you child of god arise and see what God has in store for you. He's giving you victory because he's out there to fight every battle on your behalf. He's not asking you to fight. He's asking you to allow him to fight your battles. And therefore, that is why you're not going to live in fear, but allow Jesus Christ, who is the lion of the tribe of Judah, who is the root of David, who has triumphed, who is victorious, to give you victory even this one more time. Don't give up. Don't say, I've tried always and like there's no way I can make it. I am here to tell you, some of you have even tried doing exams several times, failing, but I'm telling you this time you're making it. You have gone for that driver's test and you have failed. I don't know how many times until you're embarrassed. I'm here to let you know your season has come. You're getting that license. Your season has come. You are getting that visa. Your season has come. You are getting that which belongs to you that which the enemy has been fighting and thinking that he has won you are more than a conqueror you are a winner because christ has given you the victory then he tells us in uh, revelation 17 14 they will wage war against the lamb but the lamb will triumph over them because he is lord of lords and king of kings and with him will be his called chosen and faithful followers you as a chosen you called and faithful follower i am here to let you know that our lord the lord of lords the king of kings the one who is of the lamb has already triumphed even if he's a lamb let me tell you he's not a lamb that is weak he's a lamb that is powerful victorious that is going to give you victory one after the other because he has chosen you he has called you you are going to be a faithful follower just become faithful and you will see the lord already giving you victory one after the other john 16 33 i have told you this thing so that in me you may have peace in this world you have trouble but take heart i have overcome the world yes jesus himself is telling us he's already overcome the world so we are not gonna fear anything he's telling us not to be troubled let's walk in peace because he is given us victory let me tell you that which is giving you a headache i'm telling you tonight you receive your peace enjoy the peace of god that ministry that has become bothersome that you don't even sleep because you don't know what to do i am here to let you know that this lion of the tribe of judah this victorious one he has chosen you to give you one victory after the other in romans 8 of 37 no in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us he loved us so that he can give us victory he loves us to make us more than conquerors he has loved us he has died for us on the cross rose again to give us victory if he has given us he has been victorious even over death what can he give you he has given us victory one after the other let us go for it for the king of kings the lord of lords the one who is from the tribe of judah the root of david has triumphed first john 4 4 it says you dear children are from god and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one that is in the world you are you know we have the more than the conqueror we have the victorious one in us therefore in whatever we are doing you've got to know that and you have to have the understanding that you are going to walk out of that area that season that time you're gonna get out of it victorious 
because the Lord who is in us is greater than the one who has been embarrassing you, who has been putting you to shame, who has always denied you what entrance into where you need to enter. The King of Kings have already removed the obstacle, everything that has hindered you from progressing and receiving your miracle. It is he is already here and he's greater. He is greater than that one that has been causing havoc in your life. First John 5, 4 to 5, it says, For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Today, why don't you purpose to believe and receive Jesus Christ as who is the Son of God? Allow him to become your savior. He's going to make you victorious. He's going to make you overcomer because he has overcome the world. And when you allow him to be in you and even to allow him to save your life, allow him to lead you and guide you, you are going to be called a victorious just as he is. Do you know him? He is victorious. Victorious. This is Bishop Dr. Grace Karuki of Amazing Grace International Ministries and Abundant Glory International Ministries. Welcome to our website at www.agracem.org. And also, can you become a partner so that we can continue doing this great work? It is wonderful. I just invite you to, have, to become a partner and see what God is going to do. We also take care of orphans in Kenya, and you can become part of that and God is going to bless you as you continue to see the enemy defeated one more time and this time I ask you also to follow us on Facebook that is and even on uh, YouTube and Instagram and Twitter we are that is Bishop Dr. Grace Karuki and like please sub, uh, like uh, subscribe and even comment. Let's hear what God is doing in your life even as you receive the messages that we have. They are quite a number, but God is going to bless you as you listen to them. Be blessed for now. Father, I thank you for giving us this wonderful time so that we can fellowship and know who Jesus is. We thank you because to know we know he is the victorious one and he is giving us victory. He has made us more than overcomers. He has called us. He has chosen us and he has given us victory. We thank you, Heavenly Father, and continue to purpose to walk in your ways all the days of our lives. We give you praise and honor for it is in Jesus' name we have prayed and we have believed. Amen. May the Lord bless you as you continue to honor you with his, to honor him with your life. Shalom, shalom.